Hi guys, this is Nes of Locomobiles.com. Uh, today I'm going to share a couple of best practices in uh, creating a table view um, where you know the table view could have an empty state and a state where, wherein it has uh, contents. On, on this demo, you would see that currently it's empty and then if I click on with results, then I have or I can see the books. Uh, for section zero and then uh, and then section one, and uh, looking at the uh, storyboard, uh, basically how I did this application is uh, you, you would see that I have a view controller and a table view and a couple of cells. The first cell is called empty, and you would notice that it's labeled empty, uh, and another one which is book. So the ID of each one is empty, and the other one is book. For view controller, um, I created a protocol which is called base, wherein empty and book uh, classes they uh, you know they uh, they implement this uh, protocol, so that later um, I would be able to you know just um, this distinguish or I'd say it sort of label these guys as base or or objects that uh, conforms to the base protocol okay and then down here at the view controller I have the table data array which is the table data array or the array that would be used by the table view and then at the view did load section um, I created the empty object you only need one object to represent an empty object which eventually will represent the or will display the empty cell and a couple of books book one and book two and then uh, set uh, their titles and then I have a, an array called query results section one which is right now is empty um, but this could be filled from uh, filled by or after a filter or a query or, or data from a web service or if you did a search if you have uh, an internal search and then it uh, return an empty or, or or some results and I have an array for section 1 and section 2 and you'll notice for section 1 um, as you can see it checks if uh, section the query result section 1 count is greater than 0 if it's greater then I would use uh, the same array and pass it into section 1 if it's empty then I would have uh, to pass in an array with the empty object. So uh, uh, these uh, two sections are now part of an array which is the uh, table data array. And now moving on to the delegate methods for UI table view, we have the uh, sections or number of sections in table view. Of course, you know, normally you would just uh, uh, use uh, the count method of uh, the array and, and in this case, they will uh, table data count, and then for number of rows and sections, we would have to uh, fetch the section and then uh, get the count for that section. So you, you would know the number of rows in that section. Okay, and uh, now the interesting part, which is the cell for row at index path, we have to determine which uh, cell to use, and uh, and also you know uh, fill or set uh, the cell's uh, property uh, in this case uh, image and string or title or, or name of the book so in this case I have a I have uh, you know I determine which what object I'm gonna use for this uh, index path as you can see I have I have a table data and then I've used the section so that I can get you know the right section or section one array and and then I would use index path row to get of course uh, which row in that section eventually it will give me an object uh, which um, I just uh, instead of you know being be instead of being specific like empty or book I instead use ID base so that my code is short. Uh, my code is shorter. 
uh, which is uh, convenient for me because I, I, you know, when when those classes were created, they both um, conform to this uh, protocol, which is uh, later on would be easier for me to fetch and use on on uh, in, in in the table uh, table view cells. All right. So um, right now, uh, in order for me to get the right cell from uh, from the storyboard, I have to, you know, determine what kind of type or class it is. And if it's a book class, then I would return the book ID for the cell or empty, right? And then pass it in. Well, this is the, uh, I would say this is the, Mm, what we we normally do this, you know, um, commonly done by most of developers, but there is another way which I would want to demonstrate. Uh, let me just comment this and then uncomment one. All right. So if you remember on on uh, the storyboard, the cells are called empty or book, uh, which actually. Is the name of the object or of the, the classes that I created so in order for me to get the name I just uh, get the object and then object class which would give me the uh, class name and then just uh, turn it into a string which is where I use any string from class which eventually I can use in figuring out which uh, cell to use so and then of course uh, the lastly, I would you know you would fill in uh, the image and the title. So let me run this one. All right, um, no result, and then with results. All right, so no results and with results. So this is um, this is normal how I do it uh, when I'm working with uh, table view cells. For UI table view, of course, uh, I think you could do the same thing for collection views, since it follows the same format. All right. So if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, you can leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, guys.